Halo Sobat Medcom, nama saya Nova Muharram dan berikut adalah wawancara saya bersama penyanyi Kanada bernama Fauzia di mana kita mengobrol asyik tentang single terbarunya R.I.P. Love begitu juga kepada hal-hal lain seperti berpuasa di Ramadan Check it out So, I'm gonna introduce myself, Fauzia My name is uh, Nova Muharram uh, I'm from Medcom.id and I'm going to interview you today if that's Amazing! What... Of course, thank you! Uh, okay, so first of all, I'm gonna open with this How does it feel to be living the dream of every teenager that's out there that's torn between music and school and you're just you're like, nah, I'm gonna kill it at both. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's really exciting and, you know, just a dream come true. Um, and like, it takes a lot of work, but it doesn't feel like work. When I wake up in the morning, I don't ever feel like I'm working. It just feels like I'm... putting a lot of effort into something that I love, you know? Oh man, I mean, I mean, this is just unfair. Have you at any point sometime have ever crossed your mind that, man, I think I have to give up school to, to continue my music or man, I got to give up music to further my school. I mean, have ever that crossed your mind? Um, It's definitely very difficult at times. And so I have to just be very logical about it. Like right now I'm taking a break from my oh. studies so I can finish my projects coming out because I have so much music that is in the works. And so I like to give things my 100% and I like to make them as perfect as possible. So that's what I'm doing right now. So, you know, it takes balance between both. Okay, I'm going to ask you, what's your favorite subject at computer engineering at UN? Um, that's a good question. What is my favorite subject? I don't like physics. I'm gonna do okay. like this. Okay, I don't like Same physics. Move. Same move. I I like math. I'd say anything like okay. math related. Um, and I also like the obviously like computer science classes where I'm like coding. But I would say I don't you know. Like coding. I do. But my like it's very, friend. but it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating if you don't. Man, like these girls that's gonna watch the interview and just tear their hairs off hearing you talk <laughs> like this. Come on. Okay, so <laughs> it's good that you're focusing on your project because R.I.P. Love is out now. It's taken over the world. It's gone TikTok going crazy right now with over 500k views, uh, 500k videos on there being made with your music. I mean, it's got people from the states, Middle Eastern countries. And what's crazy is the tough videos on that music are my fellow Indonesians dancing yeah. and writing your songs. I mean, when you made it, have you, have you ever imagined it, it could reach so many people far from where you are right now? Um, I had no idea that, you know, it would connect so much with like Indonesian fans and it was just so cool. And um <laughs> it, was very, it was so special because like it was like li- like really just like so many Indonesians making dances and singing along to it and so it was so 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 cool um and it makes me excited I'm like if well like will they like the other things that I put out too you know like will they connect to it as well so it's awesome I mean I can guarantee it for I'm speaking for my fellow Indonesians they will they will <laughs> they will I mean, your voice is golden. It's okay. Thank you. So it's it's a very big project, but you know, being in this spotlight, it's it's not new to you because you've worked with David Guetta, John Legend. I mean, you've cited several times that you grew up listening to Rihanna, Beyonce, Kelly. Now I'm gonna put you on the spot here, if I may. Between Rihanna and Beyonce, which musician would you like to work with the most? And what kind of music will, will would it be? You gotta be uh, careful here because you know the the Queen Bee stands are, are vicious. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's so hard. Okay, I want to work with both, but realistically, I feel like I don't know. I feel oh, like, oh, this no. is so hard. <laughs> I mean, we um, really stands are crying right now. Oh, maybe I'll go with Beyonce, but only because, you know, Rihanna's about to have a baby. Aww. So we'll let her do her thing. So, you know. <laughs> that's, that's the politically right answer right there. You <laughs> dodge a bullet. I mean, 
if you were to work with Beyonce, and I hope you would, I hope you would, what what kind of song would it be? Is it pop ballad, soul maybe? I think it would probably be a ballad, like um, something kind of in the world of like Halo by Beyonce oh. and like my song Minefields. I think that yes. something like that could be like a mixture of those two worlds. I, I, I could just imagine in my head, like, you know, Queen Bee is asking you, hey, can you teach me those... Arabic, Arabic <laughs> she does not God. she does not need me to teach her I feel like she just like is like she's a genius when it comes yeah. to that she'll just absorb it and she'll be like do yeah. it like 10 times better you know yeah I mean you know speaking speaking of you know which uh because since you're very big here in Asia especially Southeast Asia I mean how about artists from my part of the world are there any names that comes to your mind um I'm not very familiar but I would okay. love to know I would love to know who your favorite artists are so I can dive into them give okay. me your like top three okay so my top three is I mean I'm trying to think that would mesh well with you you gotta listen to uh Nikki he's in the same label as Joji okay Nikki is a fun yet and gosh I mean what are artists that suit you well? I mean, at the top of my head, I just think Nikki N I K I just she's gonna have a banger with you, and you're just gonna make the most <laughs> beautiful baby of a song ever if you ever. Have <laughs> okay, so, cool. I'll check out their music. Okay, okay. So, you know, you're obviously rooted in your Moroccan Arabic culture that you display in your songs, which I love because I'm Arabic too. <laughs> I love mean, it. Okay, your your Arabic inspired harmonies and melodies in pop music, if I may describe it, is it's like seeing a white tiger in the jungle. You know, <laughs> your melodies in pop music because it's new, it's exotic. You don't know what kind of tiger it is, but the more you look at it, the more you listen to it. I mean, it just stands out like Thank this you. beautiful species among other tigers i mean when you write them those melodies and harmonies do you consciously apply them like you know i i, I gotta put my roots here or do you just sing them naturally like it just comes out naturally it's kind of a mixture of both um a lot of the times when i'm singing them they come very naturally but when i work with different producers and we're thinking of different melodies then it's a little more like how do we go about this and how do we make this the best version of this melody as possible so it's it's both depends on depends on if i'm just like singing and vibing or if we're actually just sitting down and trying to write melodies i mean i think that's to me that's one of the main reasons that you're so big here in indonesia because we're a heavily uh muslim country if you can call it like that and when we hear you sing it's just you're you're speaking the mind of most of us <laughs> so i just want to say you know, thank you because oh. trust me, you you don't you don't get these men Indonesians from teenagers wearing their high school uniforms. I know he's the top five in your TikTok videos from a mom just singing to your song. I mean, this just shows that your song speaks a lot to 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 our hearts in Indonesia. So that means so much to me. Like truly, you have no idea. That's the coolest thing ever. Yeah, you you man, you I I can't wait. For your future endeavors let's just say i can't wait thank okay. you so much okay, okay. Uh, we're in ramadan now i hope you have a blessed and joyful ramadan you too okay so uh i don't know if you're fasting right now are you fasting or no mm -hmm. yeah but oh i'm but it's nighttime so i broke my fast like three hours ago okay so i want to ask you this What's the typical meal when you and your sisters break your fast? What's what's the meal like at the dinner table? I want to know. Um, we'll normally have like Moroccan soups. Um, soup. there's this one, yeah. So there's this one called. There's two different ones. There's one called Herrera, and one of them is called Hsua. So one is like white, and one is like reddish orange. Oh. Um, and then we'll have like Moroccan pastries, and they're just kind of like. They're like almonds wrapped in pastry with honey. Oh my. Um, 
it's like very like traditional and then we'll have um we'll have like popsicles later or like something sweet <laughs> something just, really like just 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 so you know i just started my fast three hours ago and oh i'm sorry i mean i want to know more about that soup i mean there's two types of soup should i is it is it worth should i google it um yeah if you want so they're not very difficult to make like the white soup is like grains with um i think it's milk and salt like just spices and it's very it's very easy to make and it's very delicious um and the other one has like chickpeas and sometimes there'll be red meat and um tomatoes it's it's really good uh you're obviously very big here are there any plans for you to come here any, anytime soon maybe um i would love to um sing like have my own show there and do you guys have music like really big music festivals we do we do have music. so maybe i think doing that too would be awesome so however i can come and meet you guys would be awesome but hopefully man if if you were to announce that you're gonna come here i'm i'm, I'm just gonna buy that instantly i mean Justin Bieber's concert? No way, nah. I'm gonna see Fozia. <laughs> I'm gonna see my bestie Fozia in the stage. Hey, what's up? I love it. <laughs> okay, so, you know, to wrap up, uh, I'm just gonna ask you, it, it, like two or three years from now, where do you see yourself in the music industry? Like, where are oh. they? Who, who, do you wanna, who do you wanna collab with? Um... Where do I see myself? I see that I have multiple like albums out. Um, and I want to collaborate with so many people. Um, top of the list. Uh, Who is it? Top of the list. Ariana Grande. Oh. Um, oh, man. Oh, that would I, be such a banger. I, I mean, I that would be a dream come true. Um, and I hope that I've done like a few tours by then too. Um, and I hope that I've explored more music like R.I.P. Love and written more music like that, where it's just very like, like Western pop mixed with like Arabic melodies, you know? I, I hope so too. I hope so too. I mean, I mean, hell, it, it got me addicted. I mean, I'm really <laughs> listening to, you know, songs like that. And I'm going to be honest. And when... When, I, when your song, I, I mean, I'm going to be honest, your song came across me in TikTok when I, was, when mm -hmm. I, when I listened to it, man. I just, I just, I didn't realize I was doing like this. When I look at my phone, man, oh my <laughs> God. That, that intro in your song is just, it's a 10 out of 10 for me, personally. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. <laughs> okay, so for Z, to wrap this up, I hope you have a blessed Ramadan. I you hope too. You stay safe with you and your beautiful family. I <laughs> hope you write more amazing music because the world can't wait. Thank you so much. And you too have an amazing Ramadan. And it was so lovely talking to you. Thank you so much for making the time. Anytime, Bozia. Thank you. Thank you. Medcom.id, a part of Media Group Network.